don't worry about whether you want to do bsc computers from delhi university or btech from some private college those things don't matter whichever one you feel hello and welcome everyone if you are new to this channel then my name is amit patel and uh, you are watching musings with uh, software engineers if you are new then subscribe to this channel because on this channel i share ideas insight tools and tactics so if you want to grow fast in your career within the software industry then uh, subscribe now and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates jatin jatin sharma hi jatin so i'm confused between bsc computer science from delhi university or btech from a private low grade college without placement okay so you know there is a lot of people uh, who get confused about uh, whether they should do uh, bsc computer science from a, uh, from from some of the top colleges okay and uh, i think delhi university is a very well known college uh, for all the good and the bad reasons but uh, whether you can do engineering from or a btech or be from a tier 2 or a tier 3 college now here is the thing okay what the companies generally don't look at which college you come for from okay that happens only during the campus interview okay the only the top companies the top like uh, you have tcs infosys wipro cognizant okay all these top companies which are known across the industry these top companies will go to all different campuses and they will go to the top campuses in india okay and they will pick the lot uh, of engineers from all the top colleges okay but this is not the, only this is not the software industry okay there are thousands and thousands of other software companies and lot of upcoming startups and many software companies who don't have the luxury of going to campus interviews okay they will go and hire people from any college they don't have a criteria about college now what has happened what has started happening is even the big companies for example ibm stopped asking for even a graduation okay what ibm is saying is that ibm ibm in it in their job description they don't even mention that you should be a graduate or you should be a masters or you should be a, a high school student nothing they don't mention bca mca nothing okay now ibm has around 4.5 lakh employees in india across the world there are many employees but just within india they have 4.5 lakh employees okay and they are constantly hiring employees so if they have stopped talking about these graduations and these colleges what they are trying to look for is skills you go to any college if you are able to develop your skills which are required for programming it does not matter if you go to du or you go to btech does not matter okay now when when you talk about 980 to 90% of all job description will mention either be or btech you will not see a lot of bsc computer science or you will not see uh, bca computer science okay uh, uh, bachelor of computer application instead of that companies will say be btech msc computer science and mca that was what was happening from last uh, 10 to 15 years this is what was happening but companies are changing their stance companies are saying we are more interested in skills also because now no longer you can be a, a good software engineer just by doing programming you need to learn programming so for example let's say you learn java programming after that you need to do some kind of a specialization okay specialization means 
maybe you become specialist in web development full stack web development or you become a specialist android developer or you become a specialist in data science or machine learning uh, artificial intelligence okay so what you should do is don't worry about whether you want to do bsc computers from delhi university or btech from some private college those things don't matter whichever one you feel you will learn more you go to that place and the most important part you do is you keep on enhancing your skill in the 3 years or 4 years of your studies make sure you learn your programming language really well and become a person who the companies when when you go for interviews companies are easily able to hire you for example tcs they do a, a, te a test called ninja test or the national qualifier test nqt now in that they don't say that you only a be or a b tech person has to apply be bsc bca uh, b tech uh, then even uh, 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 i said bc uh, bsc bca be b tech all the fields are allowed okay and in in any of these studies you are first class in every uh, year every semester and that you have not dropped any of the subjects okay and after that they will take your aptitude test then they will take your uh, coding test they will they will see how much programming you know on the basis of that you will get a job so don't worry about which college you go to whichever college you go to of course if you go to a college which already has a reputation then you know that you are going to get a better education okay that is given if you go to a three tier college somewhere where uh, maybe they don't have a proper syllabus maybe they are not teaching properly then everything you will have to do on your own so if you go to a reputed college of course it is going to make a difference okay so if you uh, decide to go to delhi university do bsc and then do msc masters uh, from delhi university so that you have a better advantage over all the other people okay but don't worry in case you don't get into delhi university because i believe there will be a lot of competition even to get into delhi university and there will be competition to uh, get into every college that you go into okay except for the tier 3 colleges okay where there won't be any competition it's all about the money that you give okay so wherever you go make sure that you study really well in 3 years build your skills such that uh, when you go for interviews you are able to crack those interviews that is very important and do your projects on your own whatever projects you do whether you do it in delhi university or tier 3 college do all the software projects on your own Uh, come up with your own imagination come up with your own ideas to do the project that will help you more than anything else okay so jatin i hope that answers your question okay if you really want to grow in your career you can look at my program how to become a players this is very important for those people who are experienced but not getting salary hikes to understand why you are not getting salary hikes thank you very much and see you on the next live